Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to my Michaels haul for this <laughs> this week. Um, and I was excited when I got there. Um, I hadn't had a chance to look at the ad or anything. And the hot buy papers were on sale. Um, well, when I went over, there were only like three different ones that actually said hot buy. I think I only purchased one of those this time and it was from an older collection. Um, but they had all these other papers out and I took them over to the little price checker and found out that they were also $5. I was very excited. So this is what I um, what I got, I got the Jen Hanf Hadfield Homemade, Home and Made Patio Party. Okay, and I love how bright this, um, a lot of this paper is. It has some cut aparts in it that match the different themes. And um, so here's recipe cards and flowers and strawberries and here's this cut apart paper so great for making cards or a summer fun junk journal could use the flamingos here's the other cut apart page okay so um, all the pages are different in this particular one you don't get any duplicates and there's another cut apart page so, um, I did get two of these. There's 36 papers. And again, Jen Hadfield, homemade. And in case you're doing online, there's the UPC. Okay. And look at all this extra cutout stuff that we can use. If you've been watching me for um, a while or even since the beginning, you know that I use everything. Okay, I don't throw much stuff away. So, oh, I forgot to, you know how, I forgot to do one of the circles on this one. So I'll show you, um, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife, this is, and put my arm up and just come down here, boom, yeah. <sighs> Had to come up with a different way to do it a couple, what, last year, the year before when um, my other thumb was hurting. So it works. You just pull it off and you get that little piece and you might be able to use that and something. You know, I probably will. <laughs> so this one's called Cedar Lodge. It has 24 designs, motifs, and um, 48 sheets. So this one you're going to get two of each. And so, okay, so let's see how. So we've got this large rope, some ledger paper. This is awesome with the old school telephone TVs and cameras. Isn't that cool? And a typewriter and a movie camera, payphone. Oh my God, I, I love this paper. Okay, this one has a whole bunch. It's a cut apart page, or it could be a collage background page. Love this here with the trees. You have a blue plaid. These are not double sided. You have this page here with the borders. It seems to be a, like a keep positive. Here we have Write Your Legacy with the old typewriter. Some wood. Uh, compasses. That's, those are compasses there. And this one here with the cutouts of the mountain and the trees on what looks like... Um, like leather or nogahide or something, but it's blue. So we'll go with the blue plaid. Make life bright 
for everyone. So there's some wood. It, it's got like rose gold is the metallic in this one. Here's your four six by six pages. I like to cut these in half and I can use them as pages in a journal if I'm making a journal. I can also, and then here's another cut apart page that have a hustle state of mind legacy for those who follow leave a legacy for those who follow so you could cut this part or use it as a background page it has a um, matte finish to it so it's a glossy matte finish glossy matte there we go we got some brown plaid i i think this i love this oh it looks like marble This has um, ah, like chevron. When, when, one print has a bigger hash and the other one has a lighter. And then it's got sewn um, edging, stitching, stitching on the edge. We have a wood pile. We have the side of a tree or something. We've got wood grain. Here's another cut apart page with lights and different sayings, a typewriter down here, you can do it. Map, like it, <laughs> you can have buildings here, there's trees here, there's mountains here, trees, trees. So the city is here, then there's the ships and the ocean. It's an all-knowing legend. Treacherous mountains, advanced civilizations, monstrous oceans, ridged terrain, a rugged terrain. Okay, there's the large page. And then some bricks. So this one is Cedar Lodge. It is a craft smart. You get 24 designs, a total of 48 sheets. Love that one. Um, so I'll take this one, put it down. Next, this one was not in the hot buys, but this one was on clearance for $6.97. I picked it up because it's beautiful with the swans and the colors. And um, it has 36 pages, but what I really liked is that it was double-sided. So, um, let's start from that. So, pinks and mint. And gold. And look at those beautiful watercolored butterflies. And gold and then like a tealy turquoise. And look at, you have your swan that is a different color. A cut apart page. You get two of each page here. This is an ombre and then you've got the gold in the the flowy paint picture here. Watercolor flowers. There's your border page. And that's cool. Big swan. Look at these roses. So pretty. This this makes you want to feel it. <laughs> Some more flowers. Life is sweet. So yeah, so this was on clearance for six ninety seven. So I thought it was really pretty, and I was able to find some things to go with it that are going to be really fun to use too. So next, I have Born to Travel. Love this watercolor um, look to this. Again, another Craft Smart. This was considered a hot buy. So this time you're going to get two of each. You've got some really light palm trees with like a sky background watercolors. There's your cameras. There's a cut apart page. Very pretty. Some sky paper. Dark blue with the hot pink dots. Look at this. That you got hot air balloons and Polaroid pictures. Very, very cool. 
There's your six by six page. So I can see this being um, a traveler's notebook style journal. Look at this. I would probably <clears throat> go ahead and make tags with these as the bottom, maybe. Maybe. Or page bottom. Look at that. Oh, yes. So this is the travel. There's a peach sky. There you go. Your border page. Hot air balloons. Another cut apart. And a word page with all different kinds of destinations on it. Paper airplanes. Little dots. Here's a cut apart page or you could use it as a collage page. So you could cut apart all these items and use them in different places as ephemera. There's your large um, border page. So if you'd like to see me make a journal out of any of these um, paper pads, uh, let me know. And again, today is, well, I picked them up last night and that was the 11th okay after my um my meeting that i go to every month my women's networking meeting so this one is called hot tropic and it is also the watercolor so these two would work really real really well together especially if you are having going on a tropical vacation then you could use the two together. We've got watermelons. Here's a cut apart page. Very pretty. I'm liking these that have the little dome top for something a little different. There's your drinks. Large collage page. There's your large page with the with the leaves and the the birds. Here's your word page. Relax, it's time to relax, stay cool, tropical vacation. There's your border page. And some flowers. Here's another border page, your bottom border page. And this time you have stuff on the top as well. Beautiful lines. And so this one has gold accents also. Pineapples, that was turtles. Here's your outside border. More lines. Another bird page. This is cute. I like that. Look at all that fruit. Beautiful fruit and flowers. I just love. So here's your big, um, your big page. And of course you could... You, you could take this out and put it in a frame and have it. But you could also cut this into pieces, obviously, and, um, and use it in your paper crafting or even cut them out separate. Look at those turtles, all different bright colors. And the flamingo page. Another cut apart. This is your six by six cut apart page. And your turtles on your border page. Isn't this cool? You know, and for scrapbooking, these these will also be beautiful. So this was a little different this time. In the package of papers, we had minions. So this will be fun for some boy journals, I think. It's double-sided, which was also awesome. And these came with three. So you got um, three of each page. There's Kevo. Kevin. Kev Bo. <laughs> so if you got someone that's a Minions fan, this could be kind of fun. Or if you've gone to Universal Studios, I guess they have the little Minion guys there. There. Unique, it says. <laughs> They're 
there's Bob. Bob, Robert, Rob, Bobby, my boy. And there's Stu playing his guitar. So, um, yeah, so this one has 36 pages, three each, so you get 12 different different pages in there and so again any of these that you would like me to see me make a journal out of let me know now I've been collecting frozen stuff I even have a frozen a quilt um, to be able to do to do journals I was hoping to get them to do them with um, with either one of the neighbor girls or um, or my granddaughter and we haven't gotten to do it yet. So, again, this one has three of each paper. And you've got some great background pages. On one side, this one says Anna. The other says Elsa. Um, you have this. Oh, this is just cool. Um, and then you have Olaf. And then the flowery snowflakes. Oh, look at this. That's a really pretty page, actually. And there's Elsa. Okay. Always up for adventure. That's cute. Oh, look at your ugly sweater page here with Olaf. There's Elsa. No. Is that Anna? Okay, now I'm done. Somebody. That's Anna. Going up, right? Okay, well, whoever it is. She's climbing the mountain. There she is. I love the way they, they took the, um, you know, the embroidery and stuff that's on her clothes and used that in this paper. both of them okay so that one it's Disney's Frozen that was also in the oh so you can check it there you go oh. <laughs> it's by EK success it was in the hot buy stuff so this is the one that I got that was actually a hot buy I think it's from the last collection sprig and bow now I got this one because um, today is National Red Rose Day and my White Rose digital kit comes out today and I am going to be able to use it's I think it's gonna match it like perfectly so this is sprig and bow and here's where we start seeing the roses the beauty is in that there's there is beauty in the simple things. So these roses are just gorgeous. There we go. Background page, bottom border page. Isn't that pretty? Love it. And you see, isn't this cool how there's a border and then there's lines around the outside? You can do that on a on a tag or something where you've taken and say cut out some roses and have them and then draw your lines around the outside I mean it it looks really really cool there's some more roses we grow together so you know this is the one that you can take out um, if you're unsure of what to do with uh, these kind of papers I'll put a video down below that is called paper problems and I'll show you how I go about um, working with these pages okay here's some more the six by six there's a side or bottom border Look at that. I think that is beautiful paper. I love that paper right there. 
Okay, so that one was Sprig and Bow, and it was really a hot buy. I even said so. And last but not least of the hot buy paper is Mermaid Lagoon Craft Smart, 24 designs, 48 sheets. And I love the soft, again, we have the, the watercolor, but this time we have the soft muted colors. So, oh good. I was like, did I cut that one? Yeah, so we have starfish and shells for a background page. Oh my gosh, we have a mermaid on a swing. Some coral. I love the colors of this. Beautiful. Starfish background page. Here's our cut apart page. It says a magical mermaid. Every day can be mermazing. Very cool. Shells and coral background page. Mermaid background page. Shells and starfish. Tiny background page. <laughs> this is cool. Um, so you've got your your striped look, but it's actually shells. Your six by six page. I mean, and to this you can easily add some other. Um, watercolor and that to it. Look at this. This is embossed with glitter uh, mermaid scales. Mermaid tail. This one's embossed with glitter as well on the starfish. Here we have another mermaid page. Love the border around the outside. Just lightly um, the little tiny shells. Here we have stripes going across this way and they're um, shells and coral. So, and sand dollars. And another mermaid. I like that they're pretty much, we're going to be able to use the whole, the page. It's just the tail coming down here. So again, if you'd like to see me use uh, this and make a a journal out of this um, go ahead and put put that in your comment also I am going to be starting my Christmas gift for my niece who still likes mermaids and I'm making her a scrapbook so I did purchase and it's way over there well, I, no, it's right there. Okay. I did purchase the scrapbook photo album as well. So that is Mermaid Lagoon. So those are the paper pads from the Hot Buy. I still have quite a bit more to show you, including the magazines. Um, so this is the Mermaid um, scrapbook album. It has 30 pages. eight, nine, ten. So literally 30 pages. So um, that's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll be working on this for my niece. So I did make a mermaid scrapbook album. Uh, it was a wedding album. It was the Little Mermaid. And I'll put link that in the comments or the description box as well. So next, because I'm going to be making that, I used my 40% off coupon and I got this stencil. So um, I did get that. I purchased, these were 40% off for the washi tape. So I did get this. And these were the $2 off. Stickers were 40% off with your... Um, coupon. This was two dollars, and this. So I got all of those things. Oh, I like this one that said "Make Waves." 
And so I got all of those things right there to be able to use and when I'm making her her journal or her photo album. So and I'll also be able to use it in any journals or anything like that. So next I picked up this rubber stamp. I've been looking at it for a while. Um, but I have a, a rain uh, digital kit coming out or an umbrella digital kit coming out and I wanted some stamps to go along with that. So, um, yeah, so I got that. So then I picked up washi tape was also Recollections washi tapes were on sale for 40% off. And so I picked up these. This is that yellow and the rose one that I've been using so much. I love that one. And I can always use the pink and the teacup. And then I picked up this one that is the stamps. I have the small stamps, but I had never um, seen the large stamps. So I went ahead and picked that up. Don't know how I never saw them. But, you know, that happens. Fourth of July, I picked up some uh, cupcake holders. I got these to use um, with my new Roses digital kit. As far as paper goes, these were on sale uh, for four for ten dollars, so two fifty each. And this is what I'm using right now in my printer. It's been working really well, and to print my the cards parts of my digitals and then I picked up a set of the cards I it's time for me to make um, cards I need some greeting cards so I picked up this set of the craft smart they were the five dollars in the hot buy section so we will be going through and um, I will show you some ways to use these and we'll do a video making um, cards. I've done it several other times and um, there are videos for that, but I thought it was, you know, you, what happens is you see what I'm making. So that is going to be that. And then I picked up this set of stickers. I think I already have them, but I, I picked these up. They were recollections, so they were 40% off. And I am going to be doing a Christmas in July series. And so I wanted to pick up just a few things. And then I'll be using just items from my regular stash. Um, things that, that might be readily available to all of us along with a couple of my digitals and so um, if you're out and about and you want to follow along with this series this so far this is the one store-bought thing um, and then maybe the like the red and white polka dotted I don't have it right here but the in the 33 cent um, washi tape if you pick up a green and a red maybe the red stripe the red polka dot um, to use along with with this and I'll do a video separate showing you some items that you might want to find to be able to follow along in that series and and get a jump start on Christmas and so Christmas in July there will be a Christmas in July series on the dear Julie Julie channel um, and so last but not least we have the um stamp sets and die sets that i bought and they gave me a magazine with them is what i say so this one i bought it because this it had the swan and i can use that with the martha stewart paper that i just got so you've got these great stickers cattails i can use this is a great um it will be great on a pocket and things. Um, I'm looking at the uh, the blue and peach series that I have coming. I'm thinking that might be a really fun one to use. And then I loved this. That is a great stamp right there. So it also came with some papers. And they are one-sided. 
but really pretty with the lily pad and that and I just love this I don't know if you all know the book I can fly it is a little it was a little golden book it was my favorite my, I have two favorites we help mommy and the the I can fly and this reminds me of the art in the I can fly book so I'm I might save this for when I finally get to do the my golden book my personal I can fly golden golden book so that came with this and the magazine that it was is card making and paper crafts it is $13.99 in the US and it's gonna give you ideas to use the free stuff you're gonna get ideas for cards look at the templates that you get this time you get a template to make this guitar card and this guitar card so for Father's Day if you want to do a good guitar um, so yeah and then all these other ideas and they preview products in these magazines and there's just a whole lot of ideas and remember that you can take card ideas and um, and use them for journaling cards. Look, you get paper in here. This one has Easter paper. So you can either save that for next year. Oh, and you get some to, that you can download for free. They give you the information for that. So look at this. Cut apart. I mean, these are really fun. If you, you know, you're trying to figure out, that's a lot of money, but this... I, when you get a die cut set or a, a, die, a set of dies and you get a set of stamps and you get paper and you get paper here too, you know, it kind of makes it actually worth this price because usually you can't use um, your coupons for the magazines at um, like Michael's or Joann's. These are... I have found these at Michael's, at Joann's, and also at Barnes & Noble. Um, I don't get to Walmart very much, so I don't know if they have them there now or not. But um, So here is my next one, and I bought this one for several... It has several stamps on here that I am going to be able to use and use right away. So this one was um, issue 195 May. And it is, it was $15.99, card making and paper craft, one of my very favorites. They always give us this big, huge stamp set. This time it has 55 pieces to it. So they have done dad and mom together. And so we have golfing and barbecue and a car and a trophy and glasses and tools. Um... For there and then come down here and we've got shopping bags and a purse and high heels I need those for an, a, a journal that I've been commissioned to make and then here she is shopping and and perfume and a mirror and then look at this great sewing machine stamp I think that that is going to be awesome we've got the drinks and the kitchen aid so you have a happy Mother's Day you are so one one wonderful wishing you a birthday as fabulous as you you have the words mum grand sister daughter auntie and number one and then you have son brother granddad uncle dad number one you have a phone with earbuds says you rock you're spectacular spectacular underneath the glasses the specs happy father's day you are t Rific next to the golf guy and Barbecue King. So um, a fun and great set of uh, stamps. And look over here. Look at these galoshes with the... So these I'll be able to use in the, the rain, the umbrella stuff. And here's a little gardening shed. So you've got just all kinds. And you've got a bouquet of flowers. Just... Lots of things that, um, a great, great selection there. 
Oh yeah, stamps. I think they were fifty percent off. It's you know, and the the thing is, is Michael's recently everything has been you buy one and you get one for thirty percent or fifty percent off. Um, so it was nice to actually see things forty percent off. So you just you know buy one and like buy one stamp, and I got it for fifty percent off. I think it was fifty. It might have been forty, but it's I liked it. Um, so this one's card making and paper craft. So you get some templates here. You get the pie um, template. So if you come in and actually use the items that are in your in this uh, magazine, then um, it does have that value. So here we go. Here are the papers for this month, this May one, and it is circus. So if you are wanting to make a circus journal, and it's really nice, it's they're lightweight, and um, so that's the cut apart part. And you've got tickets and tents, and and they're double sided, and then you've got ways to use them here. And here's um, Dahlia Folds. My friend does all this folding, this paper folding stuff. She does words and things doing this paper folding. It's beautiful. So here's some other, other fun things. So again, this is the, well here you're making a um, quarter fold card. So I'm going to show you how to make a quarter fold card. Okay. So there you go. That was my haul from Michael's. It was a pretty good size one. What was your favorite? And if you wanted me to make a journal, what paper pad would you like me to use? Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. And check out the videos in the description below. Have a great day. Bye.